A month or so ago, I made a video on filmmaker Andrei Tarkovsky, and as I did my research for that video, I came across a name whose photos truly impressed me. And those were colorful moments of the everyday life that reminded me of the works of Ernst Aas or even Saul Leiter. And with that being said, I would like you to meet the work of contemporary street photographer Georgi Pinkasov. And I hope I'm not messing up the pronunciation of his name, so anyone familiar with the Russian language, let me know down below. But today I'm going to switch it up a little bit. Instead of starting with the background, sort of like biographical note, we're going to go and dive deep into his philosophy. There's two really, really interesting quotes that I found. So we're going to explore his philosophy or his photography philosophy. And while we obviously discover his work and we go through his work, um, and then we're gonna, yes, make a little background note and see where he's at today. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. So without further ado, grab a drink, make yourself comfortable, and let's go straight to another video. And one of my favorite quotes by Georgi Pinkasov goes like this. I refer to myself as a hunter. I'm chasing light by looking for reflection. I somehow can express my creativity. And I love this idea of the photographer being like a hunter chasing light because at the end of the day, light is the quintessential partner to make a photograph. And I think one thing we can take away from looking at Pinkasov's work is that sometimes, especially in street photography, the way a light or shadow are created, the mixing with a color, the way it is reflected on a window can definitely become the main subject of a photo. And I observed this in particular when I came across these images from Blackpool, which was a project a photographer completed in 2018. And these photos are an extra example here because when we're talking about light, normally we go and think of natural light, but here we are not looking at natural light at all, but rather artificial light and how this mixes with colors, reflections, and motion blur. So by observing, we can definitely take some useful notes on how to play with these concepts, and if it applies to our photography, then it's all a plus. Another quote that really made me think a lot was, the power of your muse lies in her meaninglessness. Even the style can enslave you. If you don't run away from it, otherwise you are doomed for repetition. The only thing that counts is curiosity. For me, personally, this is what creativity is about. It testifies itself not in the fear of doing the same thing over and over, but rather in the urge of going somewhere you have never been before. And this is such an important take and opens the doors to something we have not talked about before here on our channel. And you guys know I've made videos on, you know, tips to find your photography or photographic voice, your style, and etc. But what Pinkasov is um, kind of addressing here is the idea of repetition, the idea of being kind of like enslaved by your style or by what you perceive is the things that you can capture. Which, of course, this is, this is also very timely because we talked about the color photographs of Gary Winogrand and we've talked about everything is photographable and etc. So I think this is, you know, worthy of making a note um, and talk about this point of repetition style and what do we have to, what can we deal with this? What can we think about when we read something like this? Or what does it mean when the photographer says something like this to us? And as photographers, we have to realize that, like Winogrand said, everything is photographable. We have to be open and practice our versatility as photographers. So we need to cultivate the idea that we can curate our work, meaning choosing the photos that suit what we're trying to say or themes that we're trying to explore. But we also have to remain open to other things and experience other things beyond what we think is our style. So we don't fall under this idea of repetition and we ourselves don't fall into the trap of looking for the same things over and over and over. After all, style in photography is ever-evolving, and as we age, it ages with us, and as we live through certain experiences in our lives that can definitely mold us and change us as people, 
so does it change and evolve. And at this point, you must be curious about the man behind this philosophy. Well, Georgi Pinkasov's interest in photography and filmmaking began in his teenage years. And he pursued this in 1969 by enrolling in the Moscow Institute of Cinematography. After some time serving the army, he joined Mosfilm, which is a film studio amongst the oldest and largest in Europe. And this is where he was noticed by filmmaker Andrei Tarkovsky, who invited the photographer to work on the set of his film Stalker, which was filmed and completed between 1978 and 1979. And some of these photos are extremely interesting to look at, but around his time, Pinkasov's work had began to get some notoriety outside of Russia, especially when an exhibition of Soviet photographers was held in Paris. From there, he began gaining more freedom to travel around the world, whilst working for different publications, eventually joining Magnum Photos in 1988, which of course meant that his work would be shown to a wider audience. He published his first book in 1998, a book titled Sidewalk, which revolves around the time the photographer spent in Japan, and a look at these photos showcases an extraordinary study of color which borderlines qualities we would associate with cinematic footage. And these days, Pinkasov resides in Paris as a French citizen and works for publications like the New York Times magazine, Geo, and Actuel. And well, now we've seen how interesting it can be because we go from a video about Andrei Tchaikovsky to this video now and potentially another video in the near future because I've seen throughout, you know, the course of doing videos for the channel, a lot of uh, famous photographers, Elliot Erwith, um, you know, um, Mary Ellen Mark most recently, um, you know, just the different photographers, Jeff Bridges, etc., and now Georgi Pinkasov, that they um, photograph behind the scenes of movies. And I've always been fascinated with this idea of um, photography because um, there's kind of like a world or like some sort of like you know, build up of uh, truthfulness around the characters and, you know, the photography behind the scenes shows that, that, you know, the kind of like the reality or the, that is not real. And so I like that. It fascinates me. I was super fascinated when I did the video on Jeff Bridges, who was notorious to, for photographing behind the scenes of movies and his images are incredible. Um, so I'd like to challenge you into Maybe would you like to see a video that revolves around that? What would you title it? How would you go about it? And yeah, hopefully I'll bring it up. And I guess that it's been all for today. Um, And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like um, down below. It's very helpful. And we talked about or mentally mentioned briefly Mary Ellen Mark. So if you'd like to discover photography with Mary Ellen Mark, that video can be extremely helpful. Or maybe browse around the channel and see, you know, what would you like to watch next and guess that it's all for today so stay safe keep shooting keep creating and i'm out peace